These peppers look good, but nowhere near what I had last year when I used the same 27-gallon totes inside my greenhouse using the non-circulating hydroponic cracky method. So why was that? The peppers last year got up to about 5 or 7 feet in height, and some were around 7 feet across. So I looked into this situation and found that when I moved the totes outdoors, rainwater was actually getting inside of the totes. But how was that happening? You see the lids are upside down, which allows the rain to run off the surface of the lid into the channel area that goes around the outside of the lid. There are cargo holes which allow the rainwater to then drain down to the ground. But when I took the lid off, I looked and I found the rainwater was up to the edge of the container. That was just driving me crazy because I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. With the water level that high, the roots were not able to grow down and become larger, which allows the plant to grow larger. So I started looking around at the toad itself and found out that a couple things were happening. One was, as the wall of the tote bowed outward slightly, it was allowing the rainwater to feed back into the tote. The holes were not aligned properly, so what I did was take zip ties and zip tied the uh, cargo holds, which would keep the lid in alignment with the sidewall of the tote. Two zip ties were used in the middle of the tote, which gave it uh, additional strength to help keep that in alignment. But rainwater was still getting into the container. So what I ended up doing was pulling the peppers out of these containers and moving them to red 18-gallon containers inside my greenhouse. That is a cool feature of hydroponics because I can move my plants around much like someone would move oh, furniture around inside a house when they're doing a remodel. So with the peppers safely in the greenhouse, what I found out in conferring with Peter Stanley, a fellow grower, is that the black 27-gallon lids were actually starting to uh, sag in the middle, and that was allowing the rain to go down into the net pot hole. The simple solution for that was to find a PVC pipe, cut it to the appropriate length, and then insert it between the surface of the uh, lid, the bottom of the lid, and the bottom of the tote. That would pop the lid back up in place and allow me to replant these containers, problem solved.